I'm Kyle, I'm from Cashmere High School, and I'm interested in a career in concrete construction. Kyle is going to spend a couple of days looking at the work of a concrete construction specialist in Christchurch. With the city centre rebuild finally kicking in, the industry is entering a huge boom period, so it's a time of immense opportunity. At the Lees Construction yeah, Office site, he's meeting the director of new business, Mike Knowles. Inside the Christchurch Red Zone, Lees are building a big new retail and office block. There's an all-important safety induction, and then Mike and Kyle head off to the Red Zone to see the new building site. Lees is a local company, and yeah, we're very keen and passionate about the, the rebuild, and we've been very actively involved to date. Concrete is quite important with the rebuild, like. Oh, it's huge. We're seeing um, more and more concrete in the jobs than ever before, um, largely due to the um, unstable ground, ground conditions in the inner city here. They're requiring um, a lot more concrete foundations. The, the job actually we're going to go see today is um, it's got a thousand, nearly a thousand cubic metres of concrete in the, um, in the foundations, which is phenomenal for a building of its size. Um, that, that pour was, uh, we did 650, nearly 700 cubes, I think, in one day, um, which is the largest pour in, in the, um, the rebuild to date, actually, so um, something we're quite proud of. It's a short drive through the red zone to the construction site, where site manager Neil Rippey takes charge. Neil has very successfully worked his way up in the industry and early in his career won an Apprentice of the Year award. A lot of firsts for the building, the entire facade across the front will all be glass. It's quite, a, quite an advanced building and it's going to be um, a, a bit of an icon on this corner surrounded by some of the old builds with a new sort of modern uh, facade. The main floors will hang from a huge central core. At one end, two concrete sheer walls will enclose stairs and other facilities. So time to learn some basics about building with concrete. Carl's going to help build a concrete block. Um, the construction is the same as what we do with a shear wall. You're going to um, box up uh, a form. We're going to run some dividag rods through the middle um, to support the form. Kyle's got to build a strong box to contain the concrete. First job, coat the box walls with an oil so the concrete doesn't stick. Squeeze that in, mate. Oh, challenges are uh, day to day. Um, even just um, dealing with staff, getting them to, to do the job that you want in the timelines that's required, making sure that you've got the planning uh, and robust program there that the contractors are, are going to achieve the targets. The wire cage is reinforcement which will bind the concrete together. You're dealing with conflict, contractors, um, also architects, engineers, local city council. It's, um, you're sort of like a little bit of a hub and you're drawing everyone in to, to complete the project um, on time and on budget. With the box finished, the concrete truck arrives. Apprentice Jack Burmeister has been given Kyle a hand. All right, Kyle, all we're doing here is liquefying the concrete, trying to get all the air bubbles out of it. Once the concrete's been poured in and the air bubbles removed, the block needs to be smoothed and finished. All right, Kyle, what we're doing now is we're trying to screed out the concrete. You want to get it flush with this yellow line right here. So you can smooth moments. Jack's recently been taken on by Lees and really loves the job. So uh, what got you into the building industry? Um, two years ago after the Christchurch earthquake, I decided that construction would be a good, good path to go down with all the work that's going to be coming up for years and years. Jack did a quantity surveying course at Christchurch Polytech and now is doing an apprenticeship with BC ITO. So uh, what do you like about being an apprentice? First, I like working outside. I can never see myself in a desk job. Secondly, you've sort of got about 400 teachers. Everyone that comes on site seems to be, or the older fellas, seems to be a lot more knowledgeable than yourself. So can you tell me what the minimum height for, um, for tow, board, uh, tow boards is? Uh, it's 225 millimetres. Excellent, excellent. Um, you come in at uh, apprenticeship level, you could start off doing framing. Um, I've definitely done my fair share of framing. Um, digging holes, um, posts, simple decks, things like that. Um, Concrete construction, your basic form work, um, working in with a crew, they usually buddy you up. The principle of building a concrete wall is much the same as Kyle's block. Concrete is poured into a reinforced chamber formed by wooden walls known as shutters. You've got your reinforcing in the middle. Um, again, we line up our divvy dags through the steel um, as we pull the shutters together. So again, we've got these big props they're connected to our platform. Basically, these will wind in, and that will push that entire shutter 
into the reinforcing face. It takes at least 24 hours for concrete to set. So, next day before Kyle gets to examine his concrete block efforts, Mike Knowles takes him on a red zone tour. The scale of the rebuild really is immense, isn't it? Oh, it's huge, you know. I've heard lots of people talked about it as being um, possibly the biggest sand pit in the world at the moment if you're into construction, which means, you, you know, if you've got an interest in building, it's all happening here. Um, you know, certainly in New Zealand anyway, uh, going forward, Christchurch is going to be the, the place to be for construction. There's just so many damaged or destroyed buildings that we've got to replace and fix, so yeah. So time for Kyle to take off the shutters and reveal the concrete block. Nice. Oh, I love my job. I. I get up in the morning, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work, <laughs> sort of thing, yeah. Uh, and again, I get, I'm quite passionate about interiors as well. Good design, good um, sort of robust planning and, and, and um, having those opportunities to work on. So what do you reckon here, concrete block? Oh, it's pretty neat. So, all good, has Carl got the right build for the job? Hey, Carl's done a fantastic job today. Um, real keen and enthusiastic, which we like to see in the trade. I found the building site really interesting and how it uh, all works around and runs. I didn't even knew how to build a concrete block before and it's interesting the way it works and how it all turns out. There are a number of national certificates available from entry level up. There are no entry requirements but it does help to have NCEA level 2 maths and English. You earn while you learn. There's a new government subsidy available to enrolling apprentices in priority construction trades. Contact the BCITO on 0800 422 486 or visit bciTO.org.nz for more information. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.